If you like cheesy, chewy snacks, this is the video for you. Chokochi is a South Korean street food made of rice cake and cheese. They are pan fried and so easy to make. In this video, I'm going to show you a few dipping sauce perfect for these snacks. LG is a cheese monster. So this snacks is perfect for him, especially when he is working and didn't have the time to eat. If an old Swedish man enjoy these snacks, I'm sure many of you will love it. Totally, I've made six skewer and he have eaten four of those. Usually, this snacks is eaten with this sweet condensed milk. But today, I'm going to introduce you another way with this salted caramel. I think I like this the best. It's a bit salty and a little sweet. And also, nugget sauce. One of the main two ingredients is this Korean rice cake. I'm going to include the link for the products used in this video in the video description so you too can enjoy these delicious snacks. Now, these are frozen rice cake. You need to soften it by boiling it in hot boiling water. You need to boil these for at least 10 to 15 minutes. This kind of rice cake has a few different sizes. This, I think, is the smallest. There is another version that is much longer. While that is boiling, let me introduce you to another cheese that you can use instead of mozzarella cheese stick. The reason why I use halloumi cheese it is because I couldn't find mozzarella cheese stick here in Sweden. So, I decided to give halloumi cheese a try. Halloumi cheese is commonly used when barbecue. When cooked or grilled, this cheese will only soften and not melt. It is slightly chewy and it has this extremely chewy texture. In fact, you can experiment all kinds of cheese, but I strongly recommend this because I find that this cheese is much easier to handle when drilling. And I wonder, what is this black stuff here? Let me just remove this. Usually, this kind of cheese is vacuum packed and it has this liquid that preserves this cheese. So, make sure you pat dry the cheese with a kitchen towel. As you can see, this cheese is quite thick. So I'm going to divide them into half so it's not so thick. And then depend on the size of your rice cake. You want to cut them approximately the same thickness as your rice cake. In this case, it was about one and a half centimeters. The easy way to do that is to line the rice cake together so you know how thick you should cut. I'll show you later what I mean. I love goat cheese. I think this recipe would be perfect with goat cheese too. Meantime, let's take a look at the rice cake. It should be done by now. And how do you know if it is done? Just use your finger and squeeze it slightly. If it is bouncy and soft, it is ready. If it's not soft enough, you can continue to boil it for another 2 to 3 minutes. And when they are ready, let them cool down completely. Assemble the cheese on a cutting board and use the rice cake as a measurement so that the length is the same. Now it's time to skew the rice cake and the halloumi cheese. Did you notice I first put the rice cake and then followed by the cheese and then the rice cake and then the cheese. You just continue to do this until you come to the end where you have nothing to skew anymore. I find that it is better and easier to cook when the rice cake is not too long because later you're going to serve this in a paper cup. That's why this is called street food. Easy and convenient to eat when you are on the go. And don't you worry that the shape of the cheese is not perfect. 
you can do this whichever way the amount you like if you like more cheese then put more cheese if you like more rice cake put more rice cake so now this is the end i only have the cheese so lg is gonna have that now on the frying pan add some butter and you want to make sure that the temperature is not too high otherwise the rice cake and the cheese will be burned it's better to use a non-stick pan in this case in case you are using mozzarella cheese because mozzarella cheese tends to melt and when they melt it can get quite messy that is why i think halloumi cheese is much better you will get this golden brown crispy surface and if you notice this cheese has a good tolerance for high temperature if you like the cheese to be more burnt you can increase the temperature a bit but make sure you don't increase too much you know because this cheese is not so nice either burnt as you can see the temperature of my this frying pan is so uneven some part is much darker and some part is taking a longer time to cook okay now the exciting part if you don't have caramel and nougat use condensed milk i'm sure it will be really delicious because i have lactose intolerance in milk i'm gonna try to taste this with this salted caramel sauce and as for a uh, different flavors nougat sauce could be nice too you need a paper cup or a cup to prevent the sauce from dripping all over now this is the way you eat them you either pour the snacks into the cup without the skewer and just use the skewer or you can pour the sauce directly on the snacks and just eat it on the go for me i find it's much easier to unskew everything and have the cheesecake and the rice cake all in the cups and then later use the skewer to pick it up and dip it in another bowl which one do you guys like the nuggets the salted caramel or the condensed milk let me know in the comment okay and do you know what is my favorite the salted caramel of course i find that the salted caramel goes so well with the halloumi cheese do you guys know i don't like stuff that is too sweet on the other hand the nugget sauce wasn't that bad either this kind of snacks is perfect for movie night or when you are watching too much television and you felt bored during the lockdown now let's see what LG think about this it's good that he's not afraid to try new things in fact I was really surprised that he really liked these snacks after staying here for over 20 years, I find that usually old people are more skeptical about food from other countries. See, the sauce is dripping everywhere. This snack is best eaten when it's slightly warm. All you need to do is to heat it up in the microwave if it turns cold. So this is a perfect snack you can make in advance if you are inviting friends over. So when they are cold, you just put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds it's done. Serve them in a small cups like this. Look at the amount of sauce LG has in his cup. I always dream about having a mobile home. I will share with you my experience how we make this dream mobile home come true we bought this camper last autumn i find that the interior was very dark and grouchy in this vlog our aim is to make you believe that it is possible to make your old campus to a very bright 
homely with very little money. If you too have this dream, make sure you stay tuned to my next video. I make four to five videos a week. If you are new here, remember to subscribe. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.